Today we're going to discuss the case of a person who has mild elevation in calcium and parathyroid hyperplasia. This is a 73-year-old woman who incidentally by a primary care doctor was found to have a calcium elevation and the doctor was very thorough, checked PTH, the PTH number was also elevated. She has a whole slew of symptoms that are very non-specific. Um, vitamin D's were normal. Ultrasound in the office showed a possibility of the left enlarged parathyroid inferiorly. And this is the parathyroid in question. It's right here, right underneath the thyroid gland and the skin there. So during surgery, that parathyroid was removed. PTH before removal was 86. After that one was removed, it didn't go down by more than 50%. So I knew there was more glands that could be abnormal. So I went and found the remaining three glands. Um, the, the right lower one was the smallest of the remaining three. I biopsied that one and then removed the upper right and left parathyroids and the PTH came all the way down to the 20s and teens. So they came into the normal range in the lower normal range and what maintained. This told me that the parathyroid I had left behind was working adequately for her to be fine. Numbers over time, you can see the calcium numbers coming down and staying steady in the mines and the PTH normalizing. And the surveys before surgery show that she has a lot of symptoms. The lower the number, the more symptoms she has. And at one year after surgery, the symptom numbers dramatically changed, improving, and that improvement maintained even at the four year mark. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.